Man, it's a great day, guys. Uh, we've been at the farm for the past couple days, just kind of prepping some things, and I came across my woods food plot, food plot trail, you know, that I've made a few videos about in the past. You guys saw me come in with a bull, uh, skid steer, and we cleared this out, and then we waited like four, three weeks or so. We came back in, and I shared you we planted buckwheat. Well, now we're, it's been about five weeks since the buckwheat's been in here. And the reason I had buckwheat, or planted buckwheat in here is one, just because I had it. And two, it was kind of in the middle of the summer and it was too early to plant fall plots. And I just wanted to get something in here, just to get something rolling, get some kind of root system in the soil. But I wanted to give you a quick update on it because there was a few people in the comment section on that video that said, dude, you're crazy. You know, the pH is gonna be so low in that plot. You can't, you're not gonna get nothing to grow. It's a waste of time. You might as well just wait and plant your fall plot. Well, yeah, I did a soil sample and the pH was a 4.5. But people say, and I made a video about this as well, is, you know, if people, you know, they say, oh, Dave, I tested my soil and I can't get, no <clears throat> or the pH is so low, there's no point in planting anything. Well, what's the alternative? Just to leave bare soil? If you follow the proper steps, you can get stuff to grow. Now, I will say, this pH was a 4.5, I believe, 4.6 had no nutrient levels whatsoever. At planting, I came in and added like 10 bags of lime, which isn't a whole bunch for this, because at that time, I didn't know what the pH was. I just knew that it would be low, just from the history of the you know different properties and seeing different soils. I knew it was gonna be low, so I wanted to get 10 bags in there just to do something. Well, then we soil tested it uh, right at that same day. I sent it out, it came back at a 4.5, and I added two bags of triple 10. Well, we planted buckwheat, it's about, uh, quarter acre food plot that goes way back behind me here maybe a smidge longer bigger but um, you can see it's full of buckwheat and it's not the best obviously because it's it's not ideal situation for buckwheat but it grew it's probably about 12 14 inches high in some spots and the deer I mean it's got a lot of browse pressure on it all the, a lot of the tops and stuff are nipped off and it's it's working you know now in the next week or two we're going to come back in here and i'm going to lightly very lightly disc this buckwheat and we're going to plant some no bs from domain outdoors and that has some good varieties in there that it'll help this uh get through the get through the fall and winter and then spring green up it's gonna you know there's some varieties in there that's going to pop back up and uh, it'll be good for the soil and then in the uh, springtime you know we'll deal with that then we'll probably come in and do some uh, lightly discing again add some more lime and uh, go from there but as well as when we plant the no bs uh, in the next couple weeks i'm also going to add a few more bags of lime some fertilizer we're going to let this bad boy grow back up and then uh, right before hunting season as always we'll come back and foiler feed this with micronutrients and that'll that'll be it for the year and then like i said we'll follow up in the in the springtime but i just wanted to share with you that just because you have low ph doesn't mean you can't plant anything it's just a matter of following the steps and getting some lime in there to start neutralizing that soil and just following the proper steps i didn't disc this at all i took a chain drag and we chain we dragged this back and forth a bunch of times just kind of smoothed it out and rough the rough the soil up on the top you know inch or so half inch just enough for that seed to be, you know, be able to cover it up, cover it up when it rains, get some moisture in there, and uh, we're good to go. So we're gonna walk this plot, check cameras on it. If there's uh, any deer, I know there's deer using it, but if there's any on the trail camera, I'll post them in here. And uh, we working on this in the next two weeks, guys. But just want to give you an update. Just because you have low pH doesn't mean you can't grow nothing. Any questions? Leave them down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. I gotta get out of here. Bugs.